I'm thinking that between a couple of the combos that I can put together and go, dude, go. go. What? Why can't I teleport back there? I should be able to teleport back there. Nail. Up. Teleport. I broke it! <laughs> I done broke it! Well, isn't that unfortunate? The nice thing about this, though, is uh, I have to take a long trip back, but you don't have to. So I'll see you there in like two seconds. I I don't know what I did, but it worked this time. I was also told that I could bring the flower to the God Seeker here, uh, but I was warned that if I did that, it would be locking me into a specific ending. And I was also told that if I waited and beat the fifth Pantheon twice, once before and once after, I was able to give them the flower then I would get two different endings. So let's do that instead. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the greatest show on earth. Well, I just want to say thank you so much for every, to everyone who's been kind of supportive over the past like three or four days. But I've been really, really, really sick for no apparent reason. Uh, not to get too graphic, but basically all of my insides were trying to turn into outside and that kind of was not uh, conducive to thinking or energy or like activating the diaphragm in order to change the voice and to project and I could hear it. I could hear it in the videos. I watched some of them back and I'm sorry that I couldn't kind of like bring it, like bring the heat. <laughs> um, not that I normally do that anyway, but at least a little bit more energy and like pizzazz is like, I like to call it, uh, but I'm glad that I was able to get, kind of get through that and I was kind of able to see like just how amazing everyone is out there and thank you so much for like being so supportive of everything and kind of making it making it possible for me to take like a few days off just because I did not feel well and being completely understanding of all of that which I guess I shouldn't be surprised but sometimes I sit and I worry that if um, I take a day off or if something happens or like will people stick around will there still be people watching do people enjoy content that I'm not like like bringing 110% of what I can bring um, playing the games that everyone wants to see and there's just there's a lot of what if that kind of runs through my head um, and I know I, I probably bore people way too much with all of that but it just, it really is, like, it's a real concern at times. And it's just, it was so amazing to kind of see how well received the, like, the sick days were. Even though, like, as expected, I knew that it wasn't going to be, like, the greatest videos, and I knew people weren't going to, like, show up for, like, a Hollow Knight video or something like that. I knew that, and that's because, you know, I... I understand that people have a limited amount of time and they don't want to waste their time watching something that they're not going to like. I get that, totally. But it just, it made me feel good that so many people were so supportive and being like, hey, take a couple days, figure out what the heck is going on. And it actually let me do a lot of like thinking and a lot of like reevaluating of the channel and the content and everything. Uh, because when you're sick, and you're like that sick, that's all you have is time to sit and think about things. And I've realized that um, I need to not only take a little bit more time to like, I guess, take care of me personally, uh, I also need to take time to double my efforts to making the best darn videos I possibly can because everyone not only I knew everyone deserved the best content I could bring before, but it just... Something about how supportive everyone was just reaffirmed the fact that my gut was right, that I need to be bringing. Every single video needs to be 110 percent. But I, I digress. I talk too much sometimes. But what I, I just want to say is just thank you all so much. It means a lot to me to, to know that everyone's kind of got my back 
And if anyone is kind of going, because I know a couple people, there's a lot of disease going around right now. I don't know what the heck is happening, but I've heard that there's a lot of people, uh, both in our community and like just out there in the world, getting sick right now. And I hope everyone's okay, and I hope everyone feels good. And if you don't, I hope you feel good soon, because being sick sucks. It's bad. It's the worst. So, please, um, take care of yourself. Like I always say, take care of yourself, both mentally and physically. Uh, because most of the time when I say it, I, I'm saying it just like as a broad statement, but now I want to make sure I clarify. Both mentally and physically, take time for yourself. Check in, and I hope you feel good, and I hope you feel better soon if you don't already feel good. So, okay. Now, I probably have done enough talking and boring people way too much. So, we're going to, without further ado, get into the exciting part of our journey today, which is making our way back to uh, the Pantheon and figuring out where to go from there. I've had a few charm suggestions suggested, uh, I'm going to absolutely be using those. It actually doesn't feel as epic without the music. Something about it just feels off. Grim, you and I, we fought this fight a hundred, maybe million times at this point, and I, I love it every time, but at the same time, if you don't have your epic music, is it even a Grim fight? These are questions I ask myself constantly. It actually does make it a little bit more difficult, though. Because I do, like, kind of get into a rhythm with the music. Not quite full health, but I'll take it. We're getting there anyway. Oh, that's right! I heal up after... after the Grim fight anyway. Oh, it's been a while. Oh, I should not have been playing that so passively. Ah, this fine chap. <laughs> oh, that... this... it follows me, huh? That's unfortunate. <laughs> I took so much damage. Now is the time. The time for Zote. The annoying. Grey Prince Zote. Yes, Zote, you and I, we shall have this duel to the death once more. Again, for the first time, for the last time. <laughs> I don't know what those are. They explode! I need to practice Zote, maybe. No, you know what? Forget it. Not practicing. I'm just going to run in there and just do what I need to do. I don't feel bad about hitting Grim, only because of the fact it's not the real Grim. Although Grim has been banished, I don't know where to. And will they ever come back? Probably not here, if I had to guess, but maybe other places. Because wherever there is Nightmare to feast, the Nightmare King will go. Kind of like, what, Freddy Krueger? Isn't that who the nightmare? I, I don't know my scary movies. I, I'm really not not a big scary movie kind of person. So it kind of feels wrong for me to talk about scary movies a lot of the times. But I appreciate good movies when I see good movies. I will say, though, that what little I've seen of Freddy Krueger, the premise is terrifying. But I'm not sure the character is really as scary as as people, like, want to believe it is. Because I know the, the Rick and Morty version of it. Uh, Scary Terry. But I, I don't know Freddy Krueger very well. But it just seems like someone who... All you have to do is not believe that they're real. Then they can't hurt you. It would seem to me like that is one giant weakness. Because everyone kind of knows that scary movies and, like... Horror monsters aren't real. At least a little bit. Even if in the moment they kind of trick themselves into believing it. So so I don't see where Freddy Krueger or that premise would like work. But it is kind of terrifying to think that when you're the most vulnerable, when you're sleeping, that's when they come to visit you in the night. <laughs> that part is terrifying. But I'm more afraid of like real things like sharks like ocean like drowning that those stuff i also have a really weird fear of heights 
I know I've talked about this in the past, but I've got this weird fear where, um, and I don't know how I got onto this subject. Oh, Nightmare King, that's how I got here. But I have this weird fear where up to above one, no, it's like two stories. Above two stories, I'm terrified of heights. And I that fear continues all the way up until about four stories. And after about four stories, I am no longer afraid of the heights. Like, I'm good. I can chill at four stories or higher. I've gone to a couple amusement parks. It really kind of showcases that fear really well when you're on a roller coaster. <laughs> because I can, like, feel the, the fear starting as you get, a, like, 20, 30 feet up in the air. And then as you get to about uh, 50, 60 feet up in the air, I'm just like, oh, well, this is fine. I'm getting rid of the flying thing. Now down. Yes, that's it, right? That's it! That's it! Okay, now, I don't have much health, but we're gonna find out who's in the next one. It's not gonna be good. Hopefully it's an easy fight. Just a fluke marm? Oh, no. Actually, not... Not the worst. Not the best. I, do I have my friend here to help me with any of this? At least I can jump off the sides like normal. Can I hurt it somehow? Some way? I, I need squirrel. How do I do any damage to this thing without squirrel? Oh, do I use these? Oh no, that's horrible. <laughs> Why? Well, now I know what I'm supposed to do, but oh my goodness is that atrocious because if I get hit by those it's pretty much game over no matter what I guess I can kind of sort of use it to get up there now Man, it, it's, it's way easier with squirrel does it track me it does it does track me so I need to be really cautious about this at least I can kind of sort of use this to heal? I guess I kind of see how this is supposed to work. No! <laughs> I died after beating it. Oh, uh, okay. We're going to try this one more time and see how it goes. If I can't beat it this time, I'm going to have to practice the Umu fight. I definitely don't want to get hit by the explosion because the explosion would be would do way more damage to me than anything else. Well, now it doesn't really matter, now does it? No. Oh. I need to practice this fight. I need to practice this fight. I need to try... Now that I kind of have a better understanding of what the Pantheon's going to be, I need to try this one, and I need to figure out what I'm doing. So, what I'll do is I will practice this one, and... By the time that the next video comes out, I will have beaten... I will have gotten the crap kicked out of me by Umu about a thousand times. And feel a little bit more comfortable about doing this fight with maybe less health. Um, not sure... Oh. Oh, there's a technique. Now, isn't there? Maybe that's how it's supposed to be done. I don't know. But I'll, I'll practice this off recording and... You'll see me beat it in the next episode. So thank you so much for watching this one. And remember to take care and goodbye. What are you still doing here? I'm just practicing. This is just, even if I beat this, it's not like it was that hard to beat in the beginning anyway. It gets hard when you're trying to do all the Pantheon and then this fight. There, see? I just lost.